guys welcome to a brand new vlog my name is sophie in case you're new here welcome it's so good to have you um i wanted to jump in here at the beginning of this vlog and just to intro the vlog i guess um this is just going to be a couple days in my life and i actually started this vlog on monday today is currently wednesday but i started the vlog on monday very abruptly monday was the queen's funeral and josh and i really wanted to watch it live because it's just like such a moment in history and it was just so special and the service was so so beautiful and we love the queen um so we really wanted to watch it and just like be a part of that big moment and um yeah so we woke up at like 5 30 a.m which is when i started this vlog and i guess that's why i didn't like intro the vlog because i was not in the right state of mind you know i was half asleep on the couch watching the queen's funeral which was very very beautiful but also very sad but i'm going to roll all the clips from monday so you can see what i got got up to then and then um continue on with the vlog today so i hope that you enjoy a few days of my life come holy spirit and fill our hearts with the balm of your healing love we just got a very exciting delivery this toaster oven it's actually drew, drew barrymore's line at walmart randomly look how cute hang on the lighting is not the best from that angle isn't it cute okay let me actually take it out and we can see what the real deal looks like in person okay i just unboxed and set up the new toaster oven and i think it's way too big unfortunately and I don't know if just visually like I need to get used to it because usually this is like quite clear. It just has my coffee machine over there and then all of that's clear. I will say it is really, really, really cute. I love the color. I love the green and the gold. I think it's so beautiful. On camera, I feel like it doesn't look that crazy huge, but in person, I feel like it's just this massive hunk on the countertop. So yeah, probably be, we'll be returning, but we will make a final decision when Josh gets home. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was hello hello okay i want to show you what i just built just then i did a little time lapse so hopefully you've seen that but oh my gosh that took like 23 minutes to put together um i think i did pretty good i used josh's drill which i literally have no idea what i'm doing but i seem to have figured it out so this is very good. The lamp on there is just a return that I have to make. I have to drop it at the UPS store because I got two of them and turns out I only need one. Um, but I think that this is a very cute little shoe rack, shoe, <laughs> shoe bench, shoe rack. I almost said shoe rack for the entryway and I'm very happy with it. I was influenced by Allison Bickerstaff to get this because she posted on her store. No, I think one of her recent YouTube videos. She got one of these, um, the same brand, I'm pretty sure. I've been looking for a little shoe bench for the entryway for literally months, like ever since we moved in. Couldn't find anything for the life of us. Like everything was either so expensive and super cute or really ugly <laughs> and cheap. So finally we found something that is like not pricey at all, but does the job. I like how this is just really simple, minimal, and exactly what we need. I like the color. It's like a nice light wood finish and... I think it's quite cute. It feels very homey. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to go run some errands now. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to drop that little lamp at UPS um, for like an Amazon return. This also, by the way, this lamp was also Alison Bickerstaff influenced. It is so stinking cute. It's like a tiny little mini lamp. And I got two of them because I thought we were going to put them on the side tables in the guest room. But they're a little too small for that. So I'm going to return one and then I'll just use the other one somewhere else maybe on a bookshelf or something this space is not finished by any means we're going to put a little floating shelf here the whole house is going to be painted like a soft white color at some point hopefully in the next few weeks we can get that done um but yeah that's what the entryway looks like right now i put this little garland thing that i got last christmas up and i think it's kind of cute it looks a little bit festive yeah that is our <laughs> very very simple and plain little entryway right now i've got a bunch of oh I've got a whole bunch of boxes over here behind me that need to be recycled. Um, if you're seeing a pile of junk right here, that's what that is. Also, I did get a smaller version 
of this to begin with. I built this last week and then we both decided it was just a little too small for that space. This one fits absolutely perfect. So this is so random and I don't really know why I'm sharing this, but I just finished charging my vlog camera batteries and I took the liberty of um, numbering them one through seven, but number one, num uh, number seven is in the camera. Number one is charging. I thought it would be a good idea to number them so that now I know, like if I go through them in chronological order, once one is done, if it's out of the camera, it's dead, you know, unless it's on the charger. Because every single time I put a battery in my camera that I think is fully charged, it has no charge, and then I get all confused about which ones I charged, which ones I didn't, which ones, which ones I didn't. But I think this is actually really gonna change things for me because every time I go to refill my battery, um, it's dead. And now I think I will, I think I have solved the problem with numbering them, so. We'll see. Sorry, that's probably so boring for 99% of you, but for those of you that are also vloggers and have a bunch of extra batteries, this might be very helpful, hopefully. I am so excited about the salad right now. I made a peanut sauce dressing. This is a recipe from Healthy Girl Kitchen. I've never made it before, so this is my first time. And it's a Thai chopped salad is what it's called. I don't know if I already said that, but it's basically cabbage, carrot, cucumber, um, these are not in the recipe. She did cashews, but I don't have cashews. And I had these little Asian, like, crunchy sesame things. And I thought that they would be a good replacement for cashews. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. And then Josh and I are going to have dinner. He has been on the longest phone call of all time. Like, it's insane. So hopefully he can get off the phone soon. And we can have dinner and watch The Crown. big developments in the toaster oven air fryer thing we're keeping it i asked my mom she's like what are you talking about it's perfect i asked well josh walked in the door and he immediately was like i love that it's perfect and i was like wait am i crazy and it turns out i am crazy because it's perfect it looks great i thought i would give you that update since i'm like completely eating my words from earlier i was like oh it's gonna go back <laughs> to the store no we love it it's cute dinner was absolutely amazing and now i'm having some jenny's lemon blueberry parfait is one of my favorite jenny's flavors it's so good i'm watching rachel ratke's latest vlog she's such a queen um josh is still getting some work stuff finished up for the night so i thought i would sit on the couch with jenny's and my girl rach <laughs> today present times the bed is made i usually make it first thing in the morning honestly i love to make the bed in the morning it just makes me feel really good and sets my day off on the on the right start but this morning i had to get going pretty early so i just left the bed a mess and i just made it at 4 30 p.m which it's still worth it even if i'm about to get into bed even if it's like 8 p.m i will still make the bed before i get in it because it just feels so much better to get into a nice bed that is made. So I have to leave the house pretty soon so that I don't hit traffic because I'm gonna go meet my friends in Orlando for a really yummy dinner at North Italia, which is like my favorite place ever. I feel like I'm always vlogging at North Italia, so you guys probably know. My hand is shaking, let me put you down. I have a couple minutes before I need to leave the house and so I thought I would show you and talk about all of the library books that I just got and I'm so excited. I'm newly obsessed with the library. Like I've been using the Libby app to borrow eBooks from my library for a few months now actually probably like since the beginning of the year and i love it it has like changed the game for me with reading and list and you can also get audiobooks on there so it's just saved so much money so i've been loving the library for the kindle aspect of it to get books on my kindle for free but recently there have been quite a few books that i wanted to rent um from the library or borrow from the library but they have like months long waiting times like you have to put it on hold for like months before it's available and so i thought i would just go in person and check if they had any of the books that i wanted to read um like right away in physical form and they did and i'm so excited about it something about borrowing a book from the library is just the most cozy warm and fuzzy thing and it just makes me feel like a kid and i love it so much so these are the two most recent books that i've checked out um i have not read this one yet i just got it yesterday 
and I'm very excited about it because I know this is a super hyped up book. Everybody loves this book. I haven't heard a single negative review. Um, and so I think I'm gonna like it, hopefully. I said that about a couple books recently <laughs> that I read that I didn't love. Every Summer After, didn't love. And what else was it? Oh, In Love In Other Words. It was like, okay. So I don't know if I'm just like, have really particular taste, I probably do. But everybody said that they love this book. And I have a feeling that I might like it too. I've never read an Allie Hazelwood book before. This might be her debut novel, I'm not sure. But I've never read one of her books before, so I'm excited to try a new author and see what we think about this one. It looks cute and cheesy, and that's like totally my reading vibe. But also, I mentioned a couple months, maybe like last month, that I'm starting my Harry Potter journey. I'm on book four. You guys, I'm like actually following through and reading the books. Well, I say reading the books. I did listen to the first three Harry Potter books on Audible. It just got really, really bright. Um, I listened to the first three books on Audible and I love them, but this is the first book where it like drastically is way, way bigger than the other books. And I have a feeling it's gonna be even spookier. So we'll see how we go. But um, yeah, I thought it would be fun to actually read. It's a little bit cozier vibe to like actually have a physical book and read it in the evenings before bed. So I will get to this one after I read this one probably. Loving Harry Potter. It is so bright here, you guys. Okay, that's better. Now I also have got a couple other books that I just checked out. I have heard so many rave reviews about this. I think Hayley Pham said it, it was like her favorite thriller of all time. And I've been loving her book videos lately. So I trusted her and I got this book and I'm like 50 pages in. I just started it um, the other night and I'm definitely hooked. I just don't know how I feel about thrillers. Like, especially because my main time that I read is right before bed. It's like the only time that I have to read and like unwind. And um, yeah, it's a little intense and spooky and I'm not a very spooky person. Like I get very easily spooked and I don't love the feeling of being scared. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I do enjoy a psychological thriller. Like I loved Verity, even though it like really freaked me out. I still enjoyed it and thought that it was worth it. Um, so we'll see about this one. So far, I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm, like I said, I'm only 50 pages in and it's starting to really get good. So we will see. I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to finish this book. Um, but yeah, that's the update on that one. Oh, by the way, I didn't even say what it's called. It's called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. The rest of the books that I checked out are nonfiction, like cookbooks, basically, and like educational books, which is funny. I feel like a 70 year old woman by the titles of these books but I got a vegetable sorry the F old farmers almanac vegetable gardeners handbook because I'm starting a garden I'm so excited about it hopefully I can get some of it done like started tomorrow was the plan I went yesterday to Lowe's and got like all my soil I have a raised garden bed that has been put together waiting for me to start it for like two weeks <laughs> so hopefully I can get to that tomorrow but I got this book because I do feel like Google can be such an overwhelming place and so many of the articles online are just trying to fill out like like they're just full of nonsense because they're just trying to hit their SEO words and so you have to read so much crap to actually get like good information and so I felt like a book would be a little bit less overwhelming and just have like actually good info that you need to know instead of like reading the whole internet and wasting time so hopefully this will be helpful for my gardening journey. I picked this one up because I love Mary Berry. She is a precious angel. I was not seeking this book out. This book found me and I saw the name Mary Berry and I said, you're coming home with me. Obviously, I'm a Bake Off fan. Bake Off also just started again, just in case you don't know. Um, the Great British Baking Show is what they call it here in the US, but it's called Great British Bake Off. And in the UK, and um, it comes out every Friday on Netflix. And anyway, Josh and I are loving it so much. It's like week two right now. And we just, it's our favorite show in the whole world. So we're very happy that it's back. Oh, and I'm saying that because Mary Berry was the original judge, one of the original judges on Bake Off. And as if this library hall could not get any more grandma vibes, I also got the unofficial Downton Abbey cookbook. That's full of recipes from Downton Abbey, which makes me very happy. I don't know if I'm actually going to make anything from this, but Josh and I just went through a big Downton phase and I couldn't pass it up when I saw this. So hopefully you enjoyed that little library haul. I know most of it was like grandma vibes, but some of the stuff I'm reading is like a new and trendy book. So <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've read any of these books um, below. I guess Harry Potter, Love Hypothesis, 
and the Riley Sager book, um, House Across the Lake. Have you read any of those books? If so, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I have got to get going, so I will see you probably when we get to dinner. Okay, quick outfit check before I walk out the door. Incredibly casual and comfy. This is basically like a uniform of mine. Usually during the week, I just wear big comfy sweater, biker shorts, it's so comfy, and just like chill for working from home every day basically. Oh, and then I'm wearing my little black and white coach slides. Um, I'm positive, like 100% positive, that Isabella and Sarah Grace are gonna show up looking so cute in really cute outfits, cause that's just who they are. And I'm gonna look like a big ol' dope <laughs> in my giant sweater, but it's fine. That's who I am, I've embraced it. The comfy life chose me, so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> to eat these i don't even know what to call them pumpkin mousse cookies in the parking lot of trader joe's because we're so Should excited and we want to try them together cheers queen cheers okay we'll get our reactions oh, oh my, my. oh wait it's like a brownie inside that's mm. so good now i regret not getting some for myself <laughs> You can have my other one, I got two. No, no, I could never. Mm. These are amazing. Not pumpkin flavored though. I thought it was a pumpkin flavor. It's just chocolate. But so it's- So good. So good. Mm-hmm. What are we gonna rate mousse. it? No, it is mousse with like chocolate cake inside. Mousse and cake. Mm-hmm. Look at our matching nails. Our nails match. Yours mm. are so cute and chic though. Yours are chic chic. I'm nub life <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. No. Because mine just break. Mm. Okay, I'm glad we did this. This was a good move. Ending the night on a high. <laughs> I'm going to do a Trader Joe's haul probably when I get home or in mm. the morning. Either way, I'm going to do that it. That was so good. Yay. I would give it like a 9 out of 10. Why not 10 out of 10? I agree with you, but I just want to know your. If it thoughts. had like a false spice to it. A little pumpkin flare, mm. cinnamon, then because okay. that's like what I expected. But nine out of ten. I gave it a Delish. nine just because I can't like I don't want to give something a ten. You know, <laughs> that's <I'm> so special. <laughs> Your standards are too high. So I feel like it leaves some room for improvement. I don't know. There's so much fall stuff we still I haven't. I get that. Have you tried? Right. Have you tried the autumn spice? Chick-fil-A milkshake yet? No. <gasps> Can we go? That is 10 out of 10. I've never tried that. Right now? <laughs> no, <I'm> never. <laughs> I think they're close. <laughs> you are insane. <laughs> Unhinged. Take one, like for the take one for the no, road. No, no, I can't. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take them for your mom. Okay, I have fine. a whole okay. other thing. For my mom. Take this. No. Take it. No. You're taking the rest of these. Put it back. Stop. Then I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> I got so many goodies at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Most of this is Trader Joe's though. So let's do a quick little overview haul of what I got. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do a little taste test of some of these things. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to breeze through this. So I got some more fall vibes. <laughs> I don't know what these are called, like wheat sticks. I don't know, that's definitely not what they're called, but I got that. I got a little tiny pumpkin. Um, I also got lots of little like decorative gourds to put on the dining table. We really like this chicken tiki masala and the butter chicken is delicious as well. I've actually never tried this butternut mac and cheese, butternut squash mac and cheese before, I don't think, but I've heard good things. You guys already know. Isabel and I tried that in the parking lot and <laughs> they're so good. I'm excited for Josh to try them. I think he's actually gonna love it because he's not a big fan of pumpkin flavor and it's just chocolate flavor. So I think he'll actually love those. And then I am so excited to try these tomorrow. I'll um, do a taste test with you guys, but this is the pumpkin and ginger hold the cone mini ice creams. The chocolate ones are incredible. So I also got one chocolate and then I just assumed that I'm gonna love it. So I got two of those, so <laughs> hopefully it's good. And then I got some spice cider because we're gonna plan, or we are planning to do some smoky apple cider margaritas this weekend when our friends are in town. So I'm excited to try that. 
I got some tomatoes, a whole bunch of like a million things of um, this like cabbage blend because I'm making that Thai. Uh, oh yeah, I, I vlogged that yesterday. I forgot on um, me making that Thai chopped salad. I want to make it again all the time. So I got a bunch of cabbage so that we can make that. This unexpected cheddar cheese is the best cheese ever. It's so yummy. So I got the shredded version, some cucumbers, avocado, um, smoked paprika because we were running low. This pumpkin bread is so, so, so good. These are so yummy. Here, I flipped them around so you can see how cute they are. I ate some on the drive home, so that's how I know that they're yummy, but they are delicious and so cute. They're very nostalgic. They taste like the little cookies you had when you were little. Um, so I love those. And then some soy sauce, some vanilla for baking. I got this non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage to make a latte with in the morning. So we can try that together and I will let you know what I think. And then this is definitely one of the things I'm the most excited to try, the pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. They look delicious and I've heard rave reviews and we love, love, love sticky toffee pudding. Like it's heaven. So I'm excited to make these. I'll probably wait till Hallie Bell and Greg, our friends coming from Chattanooga are in town this weekend and we can make these and watch the Great British Bake Off while we eat them. I think that sounds like my idea of actual bliss. <laughs> so that would be fun. And then from Whole Foods, this is the little Whole Foods haul that I got. This is the best yogurt you will ever eat in your whole life. I'm telling you, the best. Um, so I got that and passion fruit was like my favorite flavor. And then I've never tried this before, but it's the same brand and it's a pumpkin pie yogurt. And I just know it's gonna be perfect. So I'm excited to try that. Um, ginger lemon olipops are my current favorite olipop flavor. They're just so delicious. So I got two of those. And I got some pumpkin spice kefir because I know that kefir probiotics are really good for you. And I'm trying to like get my gut to a very healthy place right now. So um, pumpkin spice kefir sounded like a good idea. So <laughs> we'll try that as well tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this. I've never had this, but my friend Hallie Bell, who is coming to town soon, is obsessed with La Colombe. She has one every single morning, and so I thought I would get these and we could try them together. Um, and then it's just pumpkin spice latte in a can. And then, lastly but not least, because this is the most delicious granola you will ever try, I'm not being dramatic. I'm really trying not to be dramatic these days, and so I'm being 100% sincere <laughs> when I tell you that this is the best granola I've ever tasted. Michelle's granola, the almond butter one, is really, really, really good. And also, we love, I, I love them equally. I, I don't have a favorite flavor, I don't think, because the original is incredible as well. So Josh already opened it and had, <laughs> Josh, at the second I got home, he saw this and he immediately opened this and the, I got another one of these and he already ate it with some granola. So that's how you know it's really good. That is the whole haul. I also got one more pumpkin, like a really big one, like a carving pumpkin. Um, and I put it outside on the porch already, so I'll show you that later maybe, but that is the haul. It is so late, you guys. It's like almost 10.30 at night, so I need to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. It is so not even good. I had such high hopes. Okay, I'm not even gonna finish that because it's really not good, like really bad. I wasn't planning to do such a full-on pumpkin drink taste test this morning, but here we are. I'm gonna try to make a hot latte or like cappuccino with this because I've actually never tried this either. Um, but I'm gonna make it hot because that's really how I like my coffee in the morning these days now that it's autumn. Well, today is officially the autumnal equinox. So we are officially in autumn. I don't want to hear anybody saying it's too early to get into fall. It's literally fall, literally. take two okay my thoughts are it is not 
bad by any means, but it's not super creamy and it's not super flavorful. And there's like pretty much no sweetness in this at all, which I thought it was going to be like sweet and creamy and, you know, spicy pumpkin spices. So that was a little bit disappointing, but I'm going to salvage this because it doesn't taste bad so I can fix it up. This is my favorite creamer that I found this year. It is so, so good. It's the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer. It's like real dairy, so it's not like an oat milk or anything. This stuff really does go a long way, so you don't need that much. I'm just adding like a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half because it is quite sweet, um, but I think that will help. Let's see. Okay. That is much, much better. It's actually quite delicious. But I will say I still prefer my regular Chobani oat milk with a splash of this versus using a pumpkin oat drink and then another splash of this. So yeah, this was a little bit of a fail. I might try to see what it tastes like just plain. Let's do that. It's very orangey. No, I'm going to drink this coffee and get on with my day. Oh, I'm going to get a haircut today, at like kind of this morning. In a couple hours, I got to go get my haircut. So I'm excited for that. I'm just going to do a trim, hopefully. I've never been to this girl yet. It's a new person I'm going to go to. But my friend Isabella, who I was hanging out with last night, um, goes to her and she loves her. And I trust Isabella with my life. So therefore, I trust this hair lady with my life, apparently. But we're not doing anything crazy, just a little trim to like make it feel a little more fresh and healthy and get the dead ends off. So that is the plan for the day. Now I'm gonna go get some work done. Okay, my hair has been cut. I'm very, very happy with it. It's, you can't see the end of it, but at <laughs> this angle, but it's just looking and feeling much healthier and more fresh, which is exactly what I wanted. And I feel like she really left the length really good. She blended in my little bang pieces that are like really grown out which is good because i want to keep growing them out um and i'm so happy with it so thank the lord for isabella and her recommendation this lady was amazing and i will definitely be going back to her because i was driving like over an hour to get my hair done before which just i mean if i'm getting it colored and it's only like twice a year then i get it like it's totally fine but just for trims in between I needed somebody that was a lot closer to me and a lot cheaper, honestly. <laughs> so very happy with how it turned out and she gave me a little blowout and everything. So I'm feeling really nice and fresh, but I just pulled up to Lowe's and Hobby Lobby. They're like right next to each other. I'm here to get some things that I need for finishing decorating the porch. My memory card just ran out, so I had to delete some stuff, but I was saying, um, what was I saying? <laughs> can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna go run these errands. I'm gonna bring you along as much as I can. Also, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. I popped into JCPenney. They have the cutest fall decor. They don't have a huge section at all, but what they did have was so, so cute. So I actually ended up getting a new wreath for the front door. I am always so chatty in the car and I need to stop because <laughs> I'm just procrastinating. So I'm gonna go run my errands. I'm gonna take you along. Let's do it. what feels like 20 hours of running errands. I am sweating. Ooh, it's been a lot. Um, just like carrying stuff around, but I will say I did really good today. I was very productive. I found some cute stuff. So I thought I would just show you everything I got really quick because it's not a ton of stuff, but I'm very happy with what I got. So first of all, Hobby Lobby. The cutest little raccoon. The thing is, I saw this raccoon when I was doing my fall decor shopping video and I didn't get him because I just thought it was a little bit overpriced, but today he was on sale for like half off or something. So today was the day I got the little raccoon and fun fact, my sister-in-law is obsessed with raccoons. So this is really in honor of her. Um, I'm gonna put him on the front porch. She's gonna be so, so cute. And then this is also from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was a sweet little cute thing. I'm looking for more like little unique pieces to put on the walls and I like the sort of antique vibe of this. I got one other thing from Hobby Lobby, which let me just show you now cause I was gonna wait till the end, but I can't wait. And I started with Hobby Lobby, so 
Isn't she lovely? This is the mirror I got from Hobby Lobby. It is the, it's a sort of a dupe, I guess. Like a lot of mirrors are now made in the style and I think they all kind of copied anthropology. Um, but how cute is it? I love it so much. It even has this little detail here. I have seen so many mirrors like this, like in this style that just looks so not good quality, kind of janky and like weird. So I am very happy that I found one that actually looks like really good quality. It's very solid, very heavy, very clear. Um, and so I'm excited to put it up. We are gonna put it, it's over here because we're gonna put it on this wall. We used to have a big round mirror that we've just had forever and I never really loved it, but I wanted to have a mirror there. So it was just the one that went there. So I'm happy to have a mirror that I love in this space. And I think it's gonna be a really good size. Also, I switched up this area a tiny bit. I'm definitely looking for a different type of little thing to go here. I think I want something straight so it's not coming off of the wall because it feels a little bit like funky. It's like not the best feng shui because it's just like sticking out from the wall. But if I find something that's just flat or maybe like an arch thing that's flat on the back, that would be cute. It's a little like console table. Um, to go under the mirror and then have some sweet little fall things on. This is a real pumpkin that I got from Trader Joe's. I already showed you guys that in a previous video. Um, yeah, I think it's looking quite cute. Yeah, this is one of the pieces I got in the fall decor video. I just styled it here with the rest of this pompous grass situation. Actually, I thought before I show you the rest of what I got, I could just give a little update of the living room. I mean, not much has changed here. It's basically the same, except I put this up, which I think looks so sweet. Um, and then I placed some of these little mushrooms and acorns here with the woven pumpkins. And also on this side, and then over here we have the, this is like one of my favorite finds of this whole season so far. I just love this pillow. I think it is so sweet and it's, very big and cushy. I did show this in my last video, but just again, in case you missed it, I think it's so cute. It's like reversible. Um, and then this is how I've set up this little side table. Um, I might switch it up still. I, I've like done a million different variations <laughs> of putting pumpkins on it, all kinds of stuff. And I landed on this, but I think it's quite cute. These are the anthropology pine cone candles that I love so much. This is just a candle from Home Goods that smells amazing. I've been burning it like nonstop. Um, Target. And then this was a Hobby Lobby find that I showed you guys last time. I put my Amazon dried florals in it and I think it looks so beautiful. So I'm really liking how this has turned out. Okay, moving on with the haul. I had to go put my hair up because it's just hot and my hair was bothering me in my face. Um, so that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. Now from Home Goods, I got a couple cute pillows. I got these two cute pillows from Home Goods. I got one green and then one in this like orangey rust color. And I think they're really cute. I was thinking of getting them for the guest bedroom, um, just to throw on the bed for like the season. I thought it would be kind of cute. I think I said earlier, I also went to JCPenney. So underrated. I got so many cute things. Probably my favorite things that I found today were at JCPenney. So first of all, this little frame it's not like fall decor or anything but i just think it's so pretty and it's like hard kind of heavy material like it feels really nice heavy duty and i think it was like seven dollars we don't have very many framed photos of like us and our family and stuff around the house yet so i thought it'd be fun to start collecting some cute frames to make it feel more homey and lived in in this house and then this is another thing that i got at jc penny for a very good price uh I think it was $30 because I believe it was 50% off and it's originally 60, but it is just a little mini olive tree. I have two ideas for this. I'm either going to put it on the little entryway bench that I actually just showed you guys like yesterday. Um, I think it could be really cute there, like in the corner and, or I will put it in our bedroom on the little like credenza table. Um, I think it could be very cute there as well, but either way, I do want to find a nicer little pot for it. And then my favorite find of the whole day is the wreath that I got from JCPenney. I'm going to show it to you right now. Isn't it so sweet? I think it's so pretty. It's got these little pumpkins in it. These flowers are so cute. Love, 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 love. 